Thank you. Turn it over to Pastor Jeff. Thank you, Pastor Jeff. Turn it over to Pastor Jeff. Turn it over to Pastor Jeff. Okay. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the blessed union between this theme, between this man, Marlon, and this woman, Vanessa, in holy yeah. matrimony. This is the highest level of a commitment that two human beings can possibly make to one another. It is not an endeavor that two people should enter into lightly. If there is any person here who has any reason to believe why this man should not be joined together with this woman in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Well, good. Exactly. You could embrace in hands, please. Do you, Marlon, take this woman, Vanessa, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, till death, do you part? And you, Vanessa, take this man, Marlon, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, till death do you part. Very well. And if you have the ring, sir, the rings symbolize the unbroken circle of love that two human beings that are entering into a commitment such as this have and share with and for one another. During my wedding ceremony back in here, <laughs> I had one at the hip, and she would not sit down. There you go. Oh, wow. Right. And if you would kindly repeat you after said, me. You said I said. Pretty close. You might have to get a resize throughout your life anyway, so you may know, you get too, too big or you know, whatever. All right, if you could embrace in hands and, and, and repeat after me. Okay. Okay. With this ring, this ring. I be wet. I be wet. I Marlon. I Marlon. Take thee Vanessa. Take thee Vanessa. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to always love you. I promise to always love you. To always honor you. To always, honor you. To always respect you. To always respect you. To always to, to always listen to you. To always listen to you. To always be patient with you. To always be patient. And to always be your best friend. And lawfully wedded husband. And likewise, Vanessa, if you would kindly place the ring on, on Marlon's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. I, Vanessa, take thee, Marlon, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to always love you, to always honor you, to always respect you, to always listen to you, to always be patient with you. And to always be your best friend and lawfully wedded wife. Now I have a short passage. Oops, I just did from First Corinthians. <laughs> Chapter thirteen. <laughs> love is patient, love is kind. It is not envy, it is not boast. It is not proud. It is not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, nor is it easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still, and where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophecy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put away my childish ways. For now we see only a reflection, as in a mirror. Then. We shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. The most important part. And now these three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of them, especially that you should have for one another as husband and wife, is love. Right. You could all bow your heads, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings upon this couple, Marla and Vanessa, as they begin their journey together and with you in holy matrimony. 
We ask that, that you bless and guide them wherever they, they may be, so that they may continue to, to love and serve you and each other as your faithful servants, as husband and wife. And we bless this marriage in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Now guys, I can tell you in a marriage, it can be one of two things. You can be right, or you can be married, but you cannot and will not be both. Let the small things go. Put your egos aside. If you're going to fight about something, make sure it's big. And most of it is all the small stuff. Guys, nine times out of ten, I didn't say nine, nine times out of a hundred, nine times out of ten, as much as we hate to admit it, as men, our wives are usually right. Okay? I was married almost nine years ago in China. And my wife chooses to be married instead of always insisting upon that she's right, even though she's right most of the time. So always love each other. You will go through life changes, perhaps an illness, a job change, kids, all kinds of things. This is the easy part right here today. The hard part is day in, day after day, week after week, month after month, sticking it out, making that commitment to each other. Watch your text messages and stay off the, of, of the social media, okay? I mean, you can be on it, but be careful, okay? There has been no phone call, no text message, no heart from the government. Are you absolutely sure that this is what you want to do? Okay. Well, then by the power and best of me by our Lord God in the state of Oklahoma, it is my honor, my duty, and my privilege to officially Congratulations, and I present two to you, the happy married couple. <laughs>